the artist is a visionary at night. Freud associates the night with the dreams and the, and the entrance into the inner world. It's at the nighttime when we enter the world of dreams that the creative imagination comes alive. You know, when you're told what real life is as opposed to a, a dream world, it's ridiculous. I also believe really pretty deeply that we are in a dream state already. So the borders are not very extreme at all for me. We live in a kind of reality that's no different than a dream state. It's just as obsessive and driven. So I, um, I don't have a very harsh dividing line between these two states. What is the function of dreaming? Purification, purging, by repetition. You run through the images of the day, you do a newsreel of the day's experience in a cathartic repetition of purgation and purification. And when you're prevented from doing this act of purification by repeat, you go out of your mind. Your eyes are closed. You invent the images you see in your dreams, and it's amazing what the images you can invent. Everybody in dreaming is a pure poet. Pure poet. Pure poet. Pure poet. Pure poet. Pure poet. Incredible, imaginative construction. Everybody in dreaming is a pure poet. Everybody in dreaming is a pure poet. Everybody, Everybody in dreaming, dreaming is a pure power.